Hey y'all, it's your girl Kelly coming at you from the Queen Bee Tarot and very icy, cold, just had a ice storm in Boston. Um, we just had a major ice storm and I've just had a ice storm in my life. So, um, you know, like you guys were telling me, take a break. I had to, I didn't have a choice. The universe made it. So I had to take a break. I am back. And Scorpio and Libra, you guys tied for the second um, most amount of views. Um, I was contacted today by Scorpio asking about their reading. So I'm going to do Scorpio first. Sorry, Libra. Next month, your turn. Um, just for that, I will do you guys first for next month. Um, but do know that the videos are going to lead right into um, February. There's really nothing I can do about that. I needed rest. I needed to get better. I went home to my house, was there for two weeks or a week. And, you know, I kept my um, schedule open for you guys, which my schedule, um, I just opened a couple more days because the others are completely booked. So if you're looking to get some work in there, definitely get it in now um, before those days fill up and we're into like next week and then it will be the week after. So um, <clears throat> do know that those spots are open and um, I do work nights and weekends. Um, but Scorpio, your read is very uh, intense. It's very, very intense and... Um, I feel like even just reading this, you guys have got some things going on. Can I please have the collective Scorpio energy for the month of January leading into February? The videos are going to go into February whether I like it or not, but I had to get better. I still have a chest infection, but I'm up and moving. And as you see with my fireplace and it's quiet, not for long. The TF is headed home. But anyway, if you guys could just drop a like, the more likes, the more times the video is seen, it goes down the feed and people are able to view and get the help they need. Um, that's what I'm here for. So if you guys could just drop a like, I would love you forever. Thank you. Um, even looking as I'm, as I'm going through Scorpio, there's someone that you're in love with. There's someone you're very in love with. Um, yes, no doubt. Um, wow. This is a twin flame. And a soulmate all in one. Holy. You guys are going through some shit. Wow. Uh, Okay. <laughs> We've got the Queen of Cups here. Um, I feel like this is the energy that you guys are picking up right now. You're coming in. You're loving. You're upright. You're um, really in your feels. If you notice in this card, she's already taken the lid off. This is the after tarot. I feel like the after tarot is what I need for you guys today. I feel like you guys have ascended and you're coming in really strong. Um, you're coming in loving, very nurturing, very caring um, with this person that you love. Um, there's a lot of nurturing there, a lot of connection, a lot of just wow. Uh, this person really puts your world right. Um but the, I feel like that person is feeling turmoil. Um, you know, they feel like there's there's other things going on beside, behind the scenes that they can't see here. And you guys know you have a habit of being very secretive and weird, even over little things. And so this is causing discomfort around you. Um, and... There's some sort of choice you're trying to make here. There's some sort of choice here you're trying to make. It's like you're... You're trying to decide whether to tell somebody something or they're trying to decide whether or not to tell you something.
see what this messenger is all about. Can you tell me what this messenger is related to, please? What does this messenger mean for Scorpio? What is this fast message coming in by email, text, phone call? What is this fast message? Please tell me what this fast message is. Three, two, one. Okay. I feel like this fast message that's coming in is coming in from somebody not related to the situation. Uh, somebody that is not related to the situation, but is somehow sending some communication to stir up some shit. Um, strangely enough, I feel like I'm reading my own life. This is awkward. Um, <laughs> someone from the outside coming in to stir up some shit and um, memories that you don't really want, you don't really care for. Um, somebody just from your past, you know, that was in your um, Akashic record, but not somebody significant. This is a man-made relationship. Um, and they may be going after the person that you care about because it kind of flies in and it's a whole bunch of confusion is the way I see it. And memories, I see it almost like if someone were to take that bow and arrow and shoot pictures of you and them over to your partner or, you know, uh, shoot pictures of or comments about you and them trying to persuade this person to turn on you. But there's a lot of love there, Scorpio. There's so much love there. Um, this person is not only a soulmate, they're a twin flame. They are everything that completes your life. This may not be for all of you. It could be a small collective, but some of you are really in your feels. You're really in love. And if you look, she's kind of holding it up that pentacle. And to me, it looks like she's kind of protecting herself from it. And then just kind of putting it down as though she's unaffected or he's unaffected. This person really vibrates high. They're secure in themselves. They know their worth. They know that you feel for them or they feel for you. They know the worth of this relationship. And if they truly love you, your past is your past. Everybody makes some mistakes. It's just fucking life. And if you can't accept somebody who makes mistakes, then kind of got to get over yourself there a little bit. Um, okay, I got to blaze my fire, so hold on. It's cold as shit here, guys. We just had an ice storm, so you're going to have to bear with me a bit. That'll blaze up real quick. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I'm not trying to freeze to death. It is eight degrees and I'm at the beach cottage. Um, <laughs> waiting for the insulation guys in the next few days, freezing to death. So I'm not trying to freeze, not for any of y'all. Sorry, my ass is cold. Anyway, um, you know, I feel like that person has a lot of faith in you. I really do, you know, and the way I'm seeing this as you're really not making any offer toward this old situation here. You're not, you're very dead set against this person coming into your life. You're very happy where you're at. There's no offer going toward this person who thinks they're a soulmate, who thinks they're, um, you know, coming after the person that you care about. Like this person thinks they have some claims, some right there. But there's no, Scorpio, you're not making any offers toward them. So the question is, is, it's kind of like, where did they even come from? Like, holy crap, like, what the fuck, you know? Um, <clears throat> I got to clarify that. Give me one second here, guys. I just need to clarify. Can you please clarify that spread for me of the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands?
One more card, please. One more card. It looks to me like without even clarifying, I just wanted to make sure, but since they're not answering me, it looks like you came into this old relationship here. You guys are talking a lot. I can barely get it out. Like your cards are jumping. This old relationship here that just kind of oops, magically appeared back when you're happy. Um, it kind of tells me what happened there. And it tells me that somebody put a lot of work into the relationship. And when things were good, when things were good, it was time to leave. Like using somebody. You know, they put you out in the cold. It's like they used you for everything they could and then it was time for you to go. And it comes up as an empress. So this is somebody who's definitely standing in their power the wrong way. Um, this is definitely someone who manipulates and lies and uses their power of position to manipulate people. So whoever this person is, I don't know, but you can literally see the story. It's like you give too much, everything is fantastic, and then boom, you're hitting the road and you're out in the cold weather, you're walking and, you know, somehow it's cyclical. You walk back into this person again, you start all over again, you know, and it just looks like it's going around and around. This could be a man, this could be a woman, you know, with a, a feminine energy, um, that's not bad to be a man and have feminine energy. It means that you understand the feminine. It's quite simple. Um, but that's what, it, I mean, it literally tells the story of, of what keeps happening and it's cyclical and you have nothing to offer that person anymore because of it. Um, you know, I kind of view this as what your relationship was like with this person because it is in the past position. Um, this tells me the heart of the matter. This tells me how you got there, which I clarified. Normally it's three cards, which I clarified. And this tells me the real story behind this person in your life. Like this position would be like recent past up to like a year ago. Some of you, maybe it resonates from before as well. Um, but this person you open this cup of love and this person just there was like a nightmare for you. Um, you know, had other options, had other opportunities, had other people, other lives. I don't know. Sagittarius just had a hell of a read. Um, and you actively made the decision this time that you were not going to accept that apple. There's Adam and Eve and the snake of temptation. And you decided you're not accepting that apple. This is about the lovers. Yes. It's the card of Gemini, but this is about not accepting that apple from that person. Irregardless, you don't want that anymore. It shows me here that you're moving toward good fortune. You're going to get what you wish with this relationship. You're going to get what you wish. This is mostly cups and pentacles all over the board. Um, and you're going to lean more toward those arcane mysteries to figure out how the universe works, how to, um, you guys are about to get very spiritual and it's going to bring you on the good side of karma. That wheel of fortune's going up for you guys. It's been down for a long time, Scorpio, but it's going up. So as you guys can see, that's your spread right here. I guess I'm sitting on a blow up mattress as close as I can to the fireplace. <laughs> I know I'm a wuss, but you know, you don't factor in seven degrees and then being right on the beach and then an ice storm. So I'm kind of iced into the house by myself. Um, so now I want to ask what is, what can Scorpio look forward to? What does Scorpio have to look forward to in this loving relationship? What does Scorpio have to look forward to in this loving relationship? Show me this relationship, this love that Scorpio has. Show me the future.
Hmm. All right, Scorpio. This is telling me that you definitely have found your twin flame. This may not be for all of you. Some of you may be dealing with a soulmate, but this particular card is telling me right here that you found the person you are supposed to be with. There's my 11, 11, 11, 11 with the world card. You literally can have the world with this person. If you just build, you can have the world with this person. And this person, this is the person. It's just, you see, I feel like the world is looking in. If you look at her, she's looking back kind of toward this. And this is a twin flame union, an amazing union. And this is the way you view this person. It's like a ray of sunshine. It's like a, a ray of sunshine over the clouds that bother, that have been bothering you. It's like they shine light into your life in a way that you can't even explain. Um, some of you are definitely probably dealing with some sort of legal problem here. Um, third party, it could be related to this person. It could not. Maybe this is someone who stalks you, who, um, I don't know. Um, because what I'm seeing here is the swords are usually air of the mind. And this is showing no new beginning there in the mind. And when I ask why, it tells me there's a third party situation here that's literally going to court or is court related or will be court related. And it's like, you can't move forward from this to that happy life until you feel that this is all taken care of. You might get into mess of Scorpio, but you sure clean them up. Showing me here that it may be someone that you are married to or in a long-term commitment with, but that is no longer. You keep your guard up from this person. You don't want anything to do with them, but you seem to have no victory there. It just looks like something happened where you're going to end up in court. And I'm seeing the Queen of Swords here. So I'm kind of curious, who is this Queen of Swords? And what is this Queen of Swords? Are we talking energy or person? Can I get an answer? Are we talking energy or person? Hello, ancestors. Anybody home? Three. No, 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 no. Really? Mm -mm. Doesn't even feel right. Are we talking energy or person? All right. That's it. Okay. Whatever happened there, it looks like your, you or your partner has, you know, just wants nothing to do with it. Kind of just, even though this person contacted them, they kind of, will just cut it right out of their life. Um, <clears throat> they're not trying to deal with anyone who's not enlightened and anyone who's not um, willing to have an adult conversation. They're very mature. They're very um, stable, kind, loving. Um, whoever this person is you're dealing with is coming up as the queen of pentacles. So you see them as abundant. You see them as somebody you can spend your life with. So, male or female, that person appears to you like they have a feminine energy about them and understand the feminine. It's not bad to have that energy. Um, but it, it seems like your partner here, there's the card of Aries, um, isn't going to stand for someone in their shadow self interrupting the relationship constantly. And so you need to be careful that although this person, you know, deals with it very well and, you know, just kind of brushes it off or whatever, because there's a lot of love there. 
it doesn't mean they'll they'll t continue to tolerate the stuff happening. Um, it looks like they'll they'll cut out at the end if you don't make sure that this stops. Make sure that whatever's happening here with this legal situation, not, like that, has to be the end of it. Otherwise, I feel like she's putting her shield up like no more. Like this is it. This is my limit. So when I look at her, I see her putting her shield up like, okay, this is no more. No more. All this stuff is flying at her. Okay. And she's got it up to protect herself. She's not phased. But then after that, it's like, okay, no more. Like this is the limit right here. You need to make sure that this shit doesn't happen again. So be careful with that, that you're paying not only attention to whatever's going on on this side of the board, which is absolutely just craziness. It's showing me court. It's showing me exchanges. It's showing me past relationship with this person and them interfering. Um, so you need to be careful that you're minding your partner's feelings about what's going on and not just your own and getting angry and getting wrapped up in it. Mind your partner's feelings because it looks like here that you have an amazing partner and a twin flame that you love and adore and they feel that same way toward you. Um, I've seen the Ace of Cups come up quite a few times while I've been shuffling. It's been dying to come out, but don't put that person in a position to have to make a choice between one or two because they will make it. So Scorpio, um, that is what I have for you today. It may relate to a small number of you. It may uh, relate to none of you. It may relate to all of you. Um, the universe is doing some crazy stuff and pulling in um, twin flames together right now. So it could relate to a good number of you, but there's a relationship there, an old relationship that's invading a new relationship that's healthy. And there's only so much that, that it feels like that person's going to put up with before they get fed up. But they're willing to stay and work with you because there's so much love there. You are so in love, Scorpio, that it's like you want to fix this, but you need to make sure you're paying attention to your partner as well. Well, guys, that's all I have for you. I hope you will please drop a like there. Um, I'm going to do Libra's reading now. And this is your girl, Kelly, coming at you straight from the Queen Bee Tarot on the frozen ocean in a little frozen cottage where it's like, I don't know, 10 below. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I hope you guys are having a great night. I will talk to you soon. Mwah. I love you, Scorpio. Drop that like. If you guys need a personal reading and want to book up that time, um, I just opened a couple days up. So go ahead and hit my email below, email me and let me know uh, you want a list of services. I will send you that list and we will get it on and popping. All right, guys, I'm out of here and I will catch you later. Mwah. Bye.